Hey everyone, I'm here today to take a look at the Schleek Dinosaur Research Station, which is a three and three quarter inch playset, which scales up perfectly with the Mattel Jurassic Park and Jurassic World toys. And as well as the main research station, I'm also going to be looking at the little add-on pack that comes that you can put on. It's just like some extra fence pieces, basically. But really, if you're gonna buy this playset, you're gonna want this as well comes with a Velociraptor and this Brachiosaurus toy, but I'm not going to be taking this Brachiosaurus toy out with me for the rest of the review because I don't really like it. There's no articulation. It's kind of got a goofy face. Um, I don't really like the colour scheme of it. It's a bit too bright. I think Brachiosauruses look better when they're kind of a, a brown or a grey colour. And it's very small as well. So I'll probably sell this, but this does come with it as well as, like I say, the Velociraptor and also a net that will go on there which I'm going to forget to take out with me later so I thought I'd show it now. You also get this Velociraptor with it which has more articulation, the arms go up and down and the jaw opens and closes. And this is kind of a cross between a Jurassic Park Velociraptor and a real one. It's got the feathers sculpted on, really nice sculpt job actually with the feathers but it is about the same size as a Jurassic Park Velociraptor so it's kind of a cross between a real Velociraptor and a Deinonychus. But it does look pretty cool. See there's some pretty nice sculpt work on it. So it does scale up with the Jurassic World Velociraptors, it is about the same size. See there next to them, maybe slightly bigger proportions, a bit of a bigger head. It does fit in if you really wanted to. And then there's this human figure which is blatantly based on Alan Grant with the brown trousers and the blue shirt and his hat. But the hat is removable which is quite cool. Uh, the figure itself is pretty basic, he's got a bit of a cartoony looking face, the arms move forward and backwards and the legs will move forward and backwards but the legs won't move independently, they're kind of connected but other than that he doesn't have much articulation. It's okay if you don't have any other human figures but really if you've got the legacy collection figures or the, you know any of the Jurassic World humans you don't really need this guy. He also comes with this snare thing which goes on his arm, he kind of holds it and it fits over his arm and then you can snare that around the dinosaur's necks and it kind of retracts if you pull this bit here to go around the dinosaur's neck. And the hat does fit on the Jurassic World figures, so if you want to put it on Owen or someone else you can do. This set also comes with a little knife, which is perfect for Owen, because the Owen figure I have didn't come with a knife. He came with it kind of in the sheath that you didn't put on the belt, but he didn't come with a knife that he can actually hold. So it's nice that he's got one now. It's a pretty nice sculpt for the knife as well. Got a serrated edge on the back bit of a grip sculpted on the handle. And for other accessories quickly you've got a laptop computer there that will stand on the desk, there's some binoculars that will go around the figure's neck and then in this crate there's also a walkie-talkie. I've also put the goggles that came with Tim in there, there's like a little walkie-talkie too. It's so small it's hard to get in focus but the walkie-talkie is just a sticker really on the front of the sculpt of the main walkie and the binoculars there We'll go over a figure's neck if you wanted to. Here's the research station all together and then the smaller add-on piece which is the three fence parts and then a gate at the front and really if you're going to buy the research station you do need to get that extension set because otherwise I think the compound looks a little bit too small. Like the raptor enclosure there or the dinosaur enclosure just looks a bit too small with just five fence pieces so I really think you need at least one extension set really two or three would be awesome I mean you could make this as big as you wanted to and here's the place set all together with the fencing going around a little command center at the back there some platforms see on the fencing the parts that come with the main place set have these stickers that go on the sides which you have to put on yourself and they're actually quite awkward to get in there but the fencing that comes in the extension set doesn't have those stickers so you can tell the difference between parts and all these fence pieces if you push them will fall down so you can have dinosaurs breaking in and out of the compound when you put any dinosaurs you want in here but I think it works perfectly for the velociraptors it does look pretty similar to the raptor paddock in Jurassic World and I think that's what this is based on There's a security camera that pops on a peg hole there and it's kind of ball joints and they're all around the fence and so put it wherever you want. And then on the opposite side here I've got a satellite dish which once again you can put wherever you want along the fence line. 
because it's on a ball joint that pops in any one of those ports on the fence. And the way the fence connects there, you've got loads of different variations of where you can put it, what kind of configurations. There's no set way you have to have this play set. So it's got a lot of added value to it, and especially with the extension sets that you can add on. And it comes with this hunk of meat that goes on a hook there, connected to a crane, so that people can lower the food down into the paddock. But if you wanted some herbivores in here instead of carnivores, it also comes with a bit of plastic foliage. So you can lower that into the pen instead, if you, I don't know, some triceratops or something in here. Or the brachiosaurus that comes with this set. See above the raptors there, there's a walkway. And this is part of what makes me think this is based on the Jurassic World raptor paddock, where it had that walkway going around that Owen would go along. Here it is from this angle, there's a bit of fencing there to stop people falling over the edge. And you see these figures really work well with it. Looking down into the raptor paddock. There's some great detailing on this set too. They've made it look like concrete by putting all these little nooks and scratches in it. And there's also claw marks from dinosaurs like you can see here, something slashed at it. And then on the metal gate at the back, it looks like a triceratops has rammed into it. You've got the three horn marks on there. So it's really nice detail, it's really kind of specific. Like that's obviously supposed to be a triceratops. And you've got more of the stickers here. You have to apply yourself, just one saying stop there, no entry. And then around the back here next to that, you've got another fenced off part, kind of a cage there. I've got a dinosaur in, which is below the command center for the humans. And there's a glass floor there so you can see down into the cage below and that's got a crack in it as well that makes it look like the dinosaurs jumped up and smashed it and this opens up too so you can get in there to the dinosaur and on this side here you've got the ladders going up and the ladders too can be configured in different ways so as well as having them separate there the bottom ladder will connect to the bottom of the top ladder, so you can just have one long ladder going all the way down, like that. And on the top level here, you've got a stand to put all the missiles in that will go into the missile launcher there, and then the crane too, which is a working crane. You twist that bit at the back there to lower the rope down. You can see the mechanism on the back there, how to get the rope to go up and down, it's pretty simple. Then you can have a figure standing behind the missile launcher. The handles on the missile launcher are a bit too thick for the figure to hold, but you can still pose in behind it and it looks pretty good. I don't like how the missile launcher and the crane are that bright blue and yellow though. I think they'd look better if they were kind of a gunmetal grey, maybe a bit more coloured, similar to the um, kind of guard rail around here, that more grey colour. So I guess you could paint them, I'm tempted to. They look a bit too much like toys being blue and yellow like that. If you press the button on the top of the missile launcher, it shoots out and it fires quite a long way. So it fired all the way from over there. The crane and the missile launcher can both be moved around wherever you want. They clip in to the grates on the bottom there. So you don't have to have them where I've positioned them and then pretty much put them where you like. Same with the missile rack, that comes off and that'll go on any part of the guard rail. Then inside the command center I've got Dennis Nedry at the computer table there. If I get him out of the way, you've got the laptop on there and there's a specific space on the table for the laptop. And then underneath there's a sticker that shows like microscopes and scientific equipment and books and magazines and things, which is fun. You've got the rack here where you can hang the hat and the binoculars and other things. Like Claire's little accessory thing that comes with her would hang up well there as well. And then on the other wall there, there's another sticker which makes it look like there's more computer screens and things showing different readings and a radar of the island, a video feed of a dinosaur in the background. 
and from the outside here there's a crack on the glass and that reminds me of the crack uh, on the glass where Claire was looking down on the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World. So it's another thing that makes me think they took a lot of inspiration from this, from the Jurassic World film. It's Claire standing inside there. She can look down on the dinosaurs. And then there's a sticker on the side there saying Dino Team. You could print out a Jurassic Park or a Jurassic World logo and put on there, I think would look pretty good. Or if you've got some Jurassic Park stickers from somewhere that you could put on there. And then there's more of these kind of hazard warning sticker things along the side there that you'll uh, have to apply yourself. This door here also opens, it will slide up. There's a kind of notch sticking up inside the compound that you can use to pull this up. And then that reveals the dinosaur that's in there. And underneath the walkway there, there's also space for a Jurassic World vehicle to come through. So if you've got the Jeep or the Ford Explorer, they will both fit through that space there. And the top part of the walkway folds up anyway, if you wanted to have some larger dinosaurs come through there. So either some taller dinosaurs like a T-Rex or whatever would walk through there, or the vehicles will all go through. With the gate at the back here, you lift this part here up and it unclips and then you can swing the gate open and close. And it's kind of a realistic function the way that gate's designed as well. Because the whole playset is scaled to three and three quarter inch so it fits perfectly with all your Mattel Jurassic Park and Jurassic World toys. All the vehicles, all the figures, all the dinosaurs are compatible with this and I think that's very deliberate on Schleek's part. This really is such a great set, especially as Mattel haven't given us a play set yet, other than that kind of lava room that came with the Baryonyx. But we haven't had a proper command compound or anything like that, like we got from Kenner, which is a really great play set. And this is kind of the closest so far we've got to a Mattel version, even though it's from Schleek. But it fits perfectly with all the Mattel toys. It's great for taking photos of and setting up dioramas. It'd be great for kids to play with, with their dinosaurs. With the extension pack, it's about 70 pounds. The playset's 15 and the extension pack's another sort of 20, 15, 20. So you're looking at around about 70 pounds, which is about an average price for a playset now. I know the Castle Grayskull that I bought a few months back was 70 pound. So I don't think it's too bad for what this is. It'd be kind of cool if they had some electronic sounds. If it was a Mattel release, maybe they would. And I don't know why Mattel can't release something like this. If Schleek can, who I'm sure don't have as many customers as Mattel do, especially with their Jurassic Park, Jurassic World property, which is a major brand, that would get so many more sales than this. So if Schleek can afford to produce a big playset like this and sell and make a profit, I'm sure Mattel would be able to. I couldn't carry the whole Kenner Command Compound playset out here as well as this Schleek one, but I have bought one of the fencing parts from the Kenner playset just to compare to show you kind of the difference in size. So this Schleek one is definitely for smaller dinosaurs. I mean, this isn't going to work as a T-Rex paddock, but if you've got the Kenner one that you can use for the larger dinosaurs, which has got the proper big Jurassic Park gates and everything, and then you've also got this one for smaller dinosaurs like the Velociraptors, you can really create a, a, a huge Jurassic Park with those two playsets together, at some point I am going to have to try and carry the whole lot out here in a huge box because it would be great to take photos of the, oh, the whole thing together, this and the Kenner playset. I think it would look great. One thing I would change about this is that I wish there were four posts going down instead of three because as it is there's quite wide gaps in between the fence posts and you can see the Velociraptor could almost fit through there really. It could probably squeeze through there if it wasn't made of solid hard plastic, you know, if it was a real Velociraptor. Uh, so if they just had one more post, so there were four going along there, so there was a, a smaller gap in between, I think that would look a lot better. But otherwise, I don't think I'd change anything with this. Oh, except for the kind of yellowy blue uh, plastic on the missile launcher that, that looks a bit kiddy. But even though I don't like the yellow and blue on the crane and the missile launcher, I do like it on this bit here. I think it looks kind of nice there. So that's my look at the Schleek Dino Research playset. If you're looking for a playset or a diorama piece for your Jurassic World, Jurassic Park toys, this is probably the best you're going to find at the minute unless Mattel finally makes something. But I haven't seen any other 
play sets that are to scale with the Mattel Jurassic World stuff that is as good as this. This is just awesome. So thanks for joining me and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon.